there's no way I can. I need to be like here and here. See where I am now with my head? Now I can break his jaw. But not when you're here. So you're like, I'm up too high. That's why when you guys do that arm drag, you want to be here. And we, I used to say like taking a Facebook picture with your buddy, <laughs> okay, like here. Then when your hand comes up, you're in position, not here. You're not gonna finish a choke on a good guy here. He will push his head this way, and yeah, just, just this way like that, and I can never finish him. There's no matter how much I squeeze, I cannot choke him, okay? I need my head here, and then now when he moves his head, it, it doesn't go anywhere and I, I just finish, okay? Um, let's go to the next move. So, okay, so. A lot of times when you do an arm drag, he's not gonna give it to you. Guess who would've thought, right? So when you try, what's gonna happen is this hand, one, I cannot even get it over here. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna push it that way. So this is gonna look similar to a Kimura, but it's an arm drag. So when I'm trying to pull him and he's pulling back, I actually push him. And then by pushing the wrist and not pulling the wrist, it allows me to pull this. This is gonna sound weird. Two pulls don't equal stronger. Look, can you feel, feel the resistance? Pull, resist, yeah. Now look what happens when I push. See that? So when I pull with two, I can't get it. You guys would do this. If you were trying to, if there was a handle on the ground and I was grabbing it, imagine if I went like this. It'd be hard to pull, right? But if I put my hand here and I put my foot like this and I push and pull, same thing as lifting weights. Imagine you grab the dumbbell, right? And instead of pulsing your hand and doing this, imagine if you were like hanging over trying to pull, you wouldn't be able to pull, right? So when I'm here and the guy pulls, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I want the arm drag, I want the arm drag. And now I go to the side, I go to my shoulder, when I do this, we have an easy butterfly sweep, okay? I lift, take the guy over, and we get on top. So it looks like you're, it looks like the over-under butterfly sweep. It looks like the standard, like this. Except this one, why is this one so hard? He puts his head over there, and you go, like, just lean the head down, and you go like this, and the guy, like, flatten out, like, yeah, and you're, like, having trouble, right? But now, see where the arm is? I wanna drag it this way, but he doesn't want me to. He might even try to put it around my body even. See? I, I'm now able to turn to my side. No matter how much he pancakes on top of me to flatten me out, I can live. If, if he pancaked on top of me in the over-under, look at the position. But if this arm's through, See how it makes, lets me get sideways, Nick? So now when he pancakes on top of me, now it's mine. And you can see. Then sometimes you might be able to arm that and take the back. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But you don't have to rush ahead. Just find the butterfly sweep. So it's the arm drag attack. It's the arm drag attack. But when you go, I do this, I pull it back. So now he pushes this one, pulls this one with an elbow in my chest. You see this? This frame. And then he falls to his shoulder. Oh no. Loads it, sweeps it. And you see if I'm here and he drags me, boom, he can take my back. It's up to him. It's up to him. If, if I allow that to happen. Ready? Let's go, one, two, three. Yeah, it becomes a little chair sit. We take the back. It connects to everything we do. Got it, got it, got it.